Hey guys, so I'm going to show you the warm-ups, the good, nice introductory warm-ups that kind of start you thinking about playing up the neck a little bit. So we're going to start with open 2-4, open 2-4. So you got open, and this is 6 string, and then 4, open 2-4. Then you go to the next string. Open two four. Next one. And I'm doing all downstrokes at the moment. All downstrokes. So you go up and then down. And I say up. I mean from your perspective. This is this is low. And then. Um, this is low, uh, on the nut is low, and then this string is low. So you start low, next string, next string, next string, next string, next string. And I'm picking every note down. That way, that way I'm just, you know, getting the picking out. What you want to do is start using more economy of motion. You're you wanting to do this nice and easy flowing. So do you can start with um, down pick everything, but do one pick per string. So you got instead of you got next one, next one. Next one, next one, next one, and you can start thinking about making everything sound a little more musical. So you can wiggle the string up and down a little bit. We're not violinists, we don't have to do close, knuckle, flat, knuckle, close, knuckle, flat. It's really hard to do violin, vibrato. That's proper violin. It's really hard to see and do it accurately anyways. So if you want to do vibrato, go think about going up and down. And I'm kind of rocking my hand like this. That's an exaggerated version, but I'm just holding it. And this, it's, it's an exaggerated pivot and the, the string gets pulled down and it gets pushed back up. And you just wiggle. And you can just... It's easier to just kind of pull down and let it go back up. Let's see that. So, you're doing this with more economy of motion. And then start trying different versions of it. Start picking it, or uh, muting it. Start muting it. And that's going faster. But start work on build, working on building that speed. And this is just... It's relatively mindless, and you can just sit there and go... to your heart's content obviously do it a little quieter Keep, turn that volume down so you're not bugging everybody and then you can do alternate that's a good way to do um, starting to build your alternate picking and you're just switching strings and you're just hybrid picking everything. And you notice that I did down, up, down, so the next string has to be up, down, up. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. 
that is good for sometimes you're going to be doing stuff where you actually start a phrase on a string picking up. And sometimes you can actually begin a phrase on an up pick and it'll put you in a better position as you finish a phrase than if you start on a down pick. So you can, so let's go back to the uh, open 2-4. So just basic down picking. What I like to do though is I like to go in reverse. So I'll do. Now I get here, now I go 4 2 open. So that's how you get, get good at your pull offs. This is where you get to practice being mindlessly fun. You kind of get to see where your speed limit on picking is, and you get to see how fast should I be really expecting myself to be playing some things. If you want to do stuff like that, you're... I'm just doing that. That's where these warm-ups come in handy. And you can also add some hybrid picking in there if I want to do. There you go. And it sounds really chromatic and weird, but that's the point, is you're not supposed to use it all the time. You can use that stuff and just kind of flash it around. And as long as you're relatively in key, um, it's fine. You can really do whatever you want if you're playing along an A. Went from A, shifted up to the E shape of A. That's that cage system there. That's a little more fancy. E shape. And that's a D. It's like me going, this is doing that cage stuff. Next thing you're going to want to do is the spider. So you're going to go open. Actually, you're not going to do open. You're going to start with your first finger on the first fret. And this is hybrid, or uh, alternate picked. Hybrid picked, that's, that's a lot of effort. So you go one down, two up, three down, four up. So again. And that's a good exercise to um, just right there. But what makes it the spider is you go. Now you go from six string, first fret right here. Now you go up a string. You go up a string and you go up a fret. So now I'm on the second fret. And I go down, up, down, up for four notes. Down, up down up you see I'm on the second string now I need to go up a string and up a fret one more time see where it's going fourth string or third string fourth fret fifth string or sorry fifth fret I keep going strings fifth fret on the B string. That was down, up, down, up. And then you've reached your end when you're on the first string on the sixth fret. If you land here on your index finger, you're, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. 
you feel like you want to land here, but no, this, this is doing it right. So from the bottom, and I'm going to try and get it all in one shot, up a fret, up a string, 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 and you've gone all the way up to the top. What you do now, you still got to go all the way back down, but still go up. So now we go down a, fr uh, down a string, but up a fret. So you're here. Now you go here on the B string. Now you go down a string, up a fret. 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 And you know you've landed in the right spot when your middle finger is on the 12th fret. So you, you end down here with your index finger on the 6th fret, just ahead of this marker. That is the 5th fret. So you end here, and then you keep going, and you end right there. And then you go down, and then you go, and then you go uh, up a string, but down a fret. Up a string, 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 down a fret. We're back here. And then you go down a string, down a fret. 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 So, I'm gonna go from here to here, and I'm gonna show you how it sounds nice and slowly, and you can follow along. Shift, 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 finish. You want it to sound like that. Now, we're going to continue all the way up to here. We're going to go. Shift. 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 And look where we finish. Our middle finger is on the 12th fret right there. So, now we've gone all the way up to the top. So now we need to go back down. Sorry, sorry, there we go. Down and shift. 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 Down. And shift. Down. Oh, so there you got all the way back here. Something that's important to remember is you want to end here you want to end here. These are the points where you check to make sure that you're shifting appropriately. If something is wrong with the way you're shifting, um, you will know because you will not land here. You'll land here, you'll land here. You want your index finger to be on the sixth fret. Going up and going down. So anyways, we're here. Down and shift. Shift again. Shift again. Oh, see, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. We'll start over again. Shift. 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 So that's doing the spider, and that's a great way to get all your fingers going. And as you start to do it faster, start to get a little bit quieter. And as you do that, 
um, try to make your movements a little smaller because speed isn't about big movements and it's not about being loud. Speed is actually about economy of motion. One of the things about economy of motion, if you want to be faster, you actually want to play just a little bit quieter because that way you're not going to grip as much. And it's not always about playing fast, but sometimes you need to be, you need to rip through something. So this is a good way to get that. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it in these transitions. Make sure every note is landed deliberately. You don't want, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't have that. You want clean, um, staccato notes. And um, palm, sorry, palm muting is optional for this, but I like it to where you can hear how everything is landing. And with palm muting, you literally just take the meat of your hand, this spot right here, and you lay it down. And the key is you want to make sure that you're not you're not getting horrible sounds. You want play around in there and find that spot that works for you. There's a sound in my head at least when I when I listen to the ventures and they do that. So that's that's a, a good way you can hear your palm muni. You want it to ring clearly, but you don't want it to be choked out. And that's an octave up. So if you want to take the spider, you can take it and do different, so we're basically doing it one, two, three, four, and then we do four, three, two, one. You could do four, three, two, one, 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 four, three, two, one. You can, and then when you get up here, now. I didn't do it right. You get up there and then go down. There you go, it landed right there. Or change it up and do, let's see, one, three, two, four. One, three, two, four, one, three. Oh, let's see, one, three, two, four. One three two four one three two four one three two four one three two four one three uh, one three two four and just kind of play around with it. It can get as hard as you want it to. If the exercise isn't difficult enough, change something up about it and make it harder. Once you get this down, change it up. it up again ah. change those up so those are your, just your basic warm-ups to get you thinking about um, playing up and down the neck and you don't really have to worry about anything too wild you just know you want to land here and you want to land with your middle finger right there if you're doing that and you're just following those hard rules that you set there, um, you're doing good. That's basically about it. And then remember that open 2-4. That's high, high alternate pick. Or you could do, or even 
alternate pick with um, Economy of Motion. And if that's too easy for you, do. So do. So there's, again, if it's too easy, change it up. Or do do uh, open 2-4 with these fingers, with your middle and your ring. And try to get your ring finger to stay out of the freaking way. It's hard. It's hard, but that's this is the stuff as you start learning and getting more playtime in, you'll start to feel uh, with your hands and your fingers what feels comfortable and what doesn't. And some of it is um, I need to practice this more and get my hand used to doing, you know, big stretches. Get your hand used to doing those stretches. And, um, you know, doing simple stretches like taking these hands, straightening your arm out, pulling gently, key is gently, just pulling gently back, and you're gonna feel it in your forearm, and then let go. Doing it on this side, pulling back gently, gently until you feel it, give it five, eight, ten seconds, and slowly release. You'll start to feel that. Another good one is penny, I think they're called penny, penny squeezers, penny pinchers, is you imagine you have a million dollar penny in your fingers and you just really want to hold on to it. So you got your penny in your hand and you are, you're not trying to death grip your hand itself. What you're basically doing is you're squeezing your muscles and you want to slowly let them out. And you do this from fist and just slowly let them out. And I'm gripping these muscles pretty good. And you grip all the way. Like just tense your fingers up and then let it release. And then do it again. Do it slowly. You can do it with both hands. I'm really tensing these fingers up. If you get cold hands, this is a great thing to do to help you force some blood flow back in there. You do this 10 times, making sure you're doing it symmetrically. Just watch your hands. Do it good and symmetrically. I'm going, I'm going way too fast. It should take about almost 10 seconds. I'm just gripping. Going out here, and there you go, and then relax. You do that about 10 times before you play, and you'll feel it. You're absolutely going to feel that. Make sure you're doing your first position scales and all that good stuff. You can apply this stuff to your first position scales if you want, but those are the uh, the warm-up right there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. It's a whole long video here talking about stuff, but hopefully you guys get something out of that and keep on playing and uh, enjoying your guitar journey there.